हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम मिसेस संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट कॉल बाय व्हॅल्यू टाईप ऑफ फंक्शन कॉल्स कंटेंट ऑफ टुडे सेशन आर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल रिकॉल द फंक्शन कॉल्स देन विल गो थ्रू इट्स डिफरंट टाईप्स फ्रॉम विच आय एल एक्सप्लेन कॉल और पास बाय व्हॅल्यू आय एल एक्सप्लेन इट्स एक्झाम्पल आय एल एक्सप्लेन दॅट एक्झाम्पल व्हेरी वेल अँड देन आय एल एक्सप्लेन इट्स ड्रॉबॅक ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह ऑफ अवर टुडे सेशन इज एव्हरी लर्नर विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टँड फंक्शन कॉल्स इट्स डिफरंट टाईप्स हाऊ टू कॉल देम बाय पासिंग पॅरामीटर्स टू इट अँड हाऊ टू यूज देम in programming let's recall the function calls here i have taken one example of function volume first of all how to declare it it is declared with the help of return variable function name and its arguments list arguments list let's see the example where volume is a function where three parameters we need to pass all are of the name of type float and its return type is float again this is function declaration v1 l1 and b1 h1 are the variable declaration l1 b1 h1 have declared with some values next line is nothing but a function call where we are calling the function by passing the parameters l1 b1 h1 and its values and we are returning the return value in v1 variable this is nothing but a definition of what vo- function volume where we we are performing a task of multiplication of l b and h where l b and h are the variables which are actual sorry formal arguments l1 b1 and h1 are the actual arguments that we are passing from a function l b and h are the formal arguments which are declared in the function definition note is given is like a value of formal argument changes in called function the corresponding change does not take place in a calling function what is the meaning of this statement Th- that this only i am going to explain with this session function calls there are two ways or two types of function call the first one is call or pass by value where we are sending the values of the arguments to the function second type is call by reference where we are sending the addresses of the arguments to the function now let's see what do you mean by call or pass by value as i have explained previously values are passed to function while function call now we'll see one example where we are performing the addition of two numbers with the help of function the name is given to function is add we are passing two parameters to it both are of type integer and its return type is integer to perform the same task in main function we have declared three integer variables a b on which we are performing the addition and the result is a variable which will hold the result after performing addition this statement is nothing but a function call where we are calling a function add by passing the values of a variable a and b so here the control transfer from calling function main to call function add and the values of a and b are collected in a variable x and y respectively 
when new variable r is declared to the function add r is holding the addition of x and y and we are returning the value of r back to the function calling function that is main so now result is a variable will hold the address sorry will hold the addition of two numbers and it will display result with the help of printf, printf statement what will be the output of this program so friends this is task given to you to execute this code and check what is the output of this program we'll move forward the next concept is as the scope of variable is live only for current function whatever changes are done are not applicable to the calling function with this statement what we have done in this particular program so what was the addition performed by these two numbers and its result is returned back to the function and result is a variable which is holding that result and it will display the result so if you want to know the meaning of this statement the previous example is not sufficient for this we'll see one more example in which we are trying to swap two numbers as the variable a and b are declared with some values we need to ta perform a task of exchanging the values of both the variables a and b by passing them to the swap val function and listen carefully swap val function is not returning anything its return type is void so whatever task we have performed in a swap val function that we are performing on a values of variable a and b so now a and b are declared with the values 10 and 20 before swapping we are displaying the content of a and b we are calling a function control will transfer to swap val function where x and y variable are holding the values of a and b that is 10 and 20 respectively and here the task of swapping or exchanging of two number is done at the end in swap val function we are trying to display the content of x and y and after that we are returning back from a function by ending the function definition and in the main function again we are trying to display the content of a and b now can you think about what will be the output of this program so now here i am going to explain it again how this program will get executed now let's see in main function two variables a and b are declared and initialized with the values 10 and 20 respectively in swap val function two variables x and y are declared and the values of a and b are passed by call by value to the function next step is the temp variable is declared and it is of type integer again next statement performs the assignment of content of x to variable temp next the value of y is assigned to variable x so here 20 is holding in the variable x previously it was 10 and now it is going to be 20 after execution of next statement the value of y is going to be changed that is previously it was 20 after execution of the statement it will become 10 and after printing we are getting the output of x and y as equal to 10 20 and 10 respectively but after returning back to the main function there is no any change in the content of variable a and b they are 10 and 20 as it is so that's why here values are not swapped at all what was in the previous statement is like by passing the values to the function there is no any change in a
calling function. Changes are not happen with the variables in a called function. That is, the actual arguments a and b are as it is and the changes are done with the only formal arguments. So, what does it mean? It means that by passing the values to the function or by calling a function by value, the changes are done with the function only. They are not reflected in a calling function. So, dear friends, you try this program whether the values will get changed with a calling function or not. And let's check the output. What will be the output before swap valve function call and after swap valve function call. Today I will talk about function calls. And specifically I will talk about call by reference function calls. Let's see the contents of our today's session. First of all, I'll recollect the concept of function calls. I'll explain its different types. Then I'll focus on call or pass by reference function call. Then I'll explain its example. I'll explain that example. And at the end, I'll explain what are the advantages of call by reference reference function call. Objective of our today's session are at the end of this session every learner will be able to understand function calls, its different types, how to call them by passing parameters using references and efficient use of function calls in C programming. Now first of all let's recollect the concept of function calls. This is nothing but the function call where usually the function name is used. Opening closing bracket includes all the arguments which we have declared while declaration. And if any return type is there, return variable will collect the return value which is returned by the function. For example, volume function is explained over here. This is nothing but the function declaration where name of function is volume, list of argument or a parameters are three parameters, all they are of type float and this float declares, indicates that it returns the float value. Now let's consider float variables are declared over here, L1, B1 and H1 with some of the values. Let's move forward this is nothing but a function call where function name the list of arguments and its return type return type of the variable and its data type should get matched they are matching as v1 is of type float after making a function call it moves forward for a function definition where in function definition a statement is there where it is returning the volume from the function. That calculated volume is collected in v1 variable. Now what do you mean by actual argument and the formal arguments? Actual arguments are the arguments which are declared in our main function. In this example they are L1, B1 and H1. And formal arguments are the variables which are declared in function definition. They are L, B and H respectively. A value of formal argument changes in called function. The corresponding changes doesn't take place in the calling function. When we are calling a function by value, then the values are not get changed in a calling function. There are two different types of function calls. They are call by value and call by reference from which the first one call by value sending the values of the arguments are nothing but the call by value function call and the next one is call by reference where 
sending the addresses of the arguments is nothing but the call by or pass by reference in today's session we are focusing on call or pass by reference type of a function call references are passed to function while making a function call though the scope of variable variable is live only for current function but with the help of references whatever changes are done are applicable to calling function what do you mean by this statement i'd like to explain it with the help of example let's see the example where swap ref function is declared with two parameters two arguments both are of type pointer if they are pointer that means while a function call we need to pass their addresses the addresses of two variable whose data type should be integer so here we have declared a and b are of type integer their addresses we are passing to the function and while jumping from calling function to call function their addresses are collected in x and y variable here we are writing the logic of swapping of two numbers with the help of temporary variable and we are getting the output now let's check what will be the output of this program i would like to switch to ide to show the output of the given program the same program is written over here and now let's check the output of a program the program is executing and let's check the output before swap reference function call the value of a and b are 10 and 20 respectively in swap reference function definition the values of x and y are 20 and 10 respectively and after swap reference function call from returning back from a function and in a calling function that is in main function the value of a and b are 20 and 10 respectively it performs our task it gives the correct output which was required in our program that is nothing but the swapping of two numbers this cannot be done with the help of call by value function call now how this task can be done so this was our example now let's think about whatever the variables are declared in main they are a and b assign their values 10 and 20 respectively these are their respective address locations where a and b are declared now let's move forward for the variables which are used in a swap reference function other way around we can say that a and b are the variables which are actual variable or actual parameters x and y are the variables or a parameter they are formal parameters as we are passing the addresses of a and b respectively they are collected in a pointer type variable which is already indicated while declaring a function then it indicates that x and y are the variable who are holding the addresses of a and b respectively other way round x is a variable pointing to variable a y is a variable pointing to variable b now let's move forward the next variable is declared that is nothing but time is of type integer within the swap reference function so below to this line indicates that all the variables are declared in a swap reference function temp is a variable with its own address location now let's move forward these three lines are performing the main task that is swapping of two numbers where the first statement indicates that the value available at the address location x we are assigning to variable temp so which value is available at the address location x where x is pointing so value available at the address location 65520 is nothing but 10 so that's why 10 is copied in a variable temp 
next statement is to copy the value available at the address location y at the address location value available at the address x so which value is available at the address location y that is 65530 it is 20 and it is copied at the value available at the address location x move forward for our next statement where value available with the variable temp that we are going to copy the value available at the address location y y is pointing to 65530 is nothing but the value available at the address location 65530 the value available with the temp is copied into the 65530 and at the end we can see that the values are swapped in the main function that is now a is holding value 20 b is holding value 10 and in this way the swapping of the variables are done or we can say that the swapping of the content of the variables are done which was not possible with the help of swap function when we are passing the values only values to the function call now let's move forward for the benefits of call by reference the first benefit is to alter the actual arguments it is used how they are get altered usually in C programming we make a call by value this means that in general you cannot alter the actual arguments but if desired it can always be achieved through a call by reference function call as in the previous example we have already seen that the values are swapped or we can say that they are altered in a main function that is calling function the next benefit is whenever we want to return more than two value more than one value from a function we can use the call by reference function call every function can returns a single value at a time using return statement as a calling function by passing the references of actual arguments it alters the values after performing tasks on formal arguments with this task or other way around we can say that we can return more than one value without using a return statement now let's go to the previous slide where by performing particular task we are altering the values of variable a and b which are declared in the calling function we have not used any of the return statement over here though we are making the changes in a variable a and b this is nothing but without return statement we can return more than one value from a function so in this way these are two main benefits of use of the call by reference function call thank you friends for listening this video